You're trying to make an AI that's going to look around a facility hunting for players. Now, if that isn't what you're trying to do, but you're trying to learn how to pathfind, go check a previous video, how to pathfind using Forbidden, where I show you how to even track moving objects with one line of code. In that, you can use to make your own AI. Now, let me show you how we use this pre-coded example though using Forbidden. We're going to go ahead and I'm actually going to delete the previous examples. So let me go ahead and do that. And now we're going to go ahead and find Forbidden API inside the toolbox or in the description of the video. And we're going to go to ungroup in RS and drag that to replicate storage and ungroup it. Once you're in there, go Forbidden AI, pre-coded Chase AI, and drag out an MPC or duplicate it, whatever you want to do, and ungroup it inside your dummy. In there, I'm going to enable the Chase AI script and I'm going to go to settings. In here, you have references to the AI. Make sure they're correct. They should be if you did what I did. And let's go ahead and go over these settings. So we are going to go over the functions that you can use, like um, Wander started, it lost the player, player chase, and how to attach things like make the AI not notice players who are hiding. But let's go ahead and start with this. Initializing time. So there's a three second timer whenever um, the game loads or whenever the script's enabled. That it's going to take for the AI to start. It stops common errors, so I'd encourage you to leave it. See through transparent parts. Have to set the true mostly, unless you want to be able to watch an AI go through a glass window and not notice people. Is active, so is the AI active? Hitboxes. Uh, do you have custom hitboxes? If so, place them in here. Otherwise, human humanoid root parts used. So if you have like arms that are long, make sure you place them in here. Damage delay, so how long until it does damage like repeatedly how much damage does it deal and now this damage delay changes if dam disable ai while damaging is true now this will become how long does it take for the ai to start again once it uh damages a player so you can have like kill animations play during that time now you have chase speed so here we have 20 speed while it's chasing a player detection range and detection fov so you see this square in my screen. This would be like the detection FOV. You can widen it if you want by making the number higher. Do not go above 180. Detection range, so how far, how far in studs can it see? Anti-stuck timer, this just leaves on two. So if it starts walking into a wall like an idiot, which it shouldn't be doing because this is a smart AI, then it's gonna go ahead and uh, free it detection bubble we're also going to use so like a five uh, stud bubble so if the player is sitting right here it's going to see the player go into settings again and let's go over how the wandering works so wandering is you see these yellow nodes these are nodes so they're like key points that the ai can wander to there is two modes so let's say you had a square an absolutely massive square is it really efficient to make yellow nodes go everywhere no so in that case, if you're going to do that, you do true and then you give like floors that I can generate nodes above. Just careful because let's say this floor was over here. If it generates a node in here, the AI is not going to be able to get to it. On that note, we're going to go ahead and leave that false because I'm using the yellow nodes today. And I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, it's in the same thing as this. So I do care. I'm just getting a folder with my test nodes and I'm doing getting get children. You can reference these like by hand if you want. But I have a folder with my nodes so I don't have to do that. But you can do whatever you want. And then we're gonna go ahead and do uh, all this is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and run our script after I do a little something. You don't have to do what I'm doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and in here, I'm going to visualize the path. Oh, I forgot to wrap this. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and visualize it. So that will go ahead and you're going to see it's going to start wandering. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and spawn myself in here. So, oh, that's unfortunate. Don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, it's on me. So once it sees the player, uh, it's not dumb like wherever it saw the player last it will go to so if I use myself as like a ragdoll I'll show you If I show you 
it will pathfind to the last location where it knew the player was. So like it saw the player last right here, so it's gonna go to this location. It will even use like the pathfind. I don't have it enabled because it's in a different function, but it did have those little dots going there. Now, whenever it sees the player though, it swaps over to a move to to make sure it doesn't lag because otherwise you'd have a lot of lag. Now it does appear that the that's unangered. Okay, it does appear that there will be lag, like if I were to show you. And if I go in here, it will look like there's lag. Look, it looked like there was lag, but in reality, on the server end and even on the client end, because I am swapping it over to the client, like the set network owner is how you stop that. It, I am actually lagging. So let's go over how to customize the functions. Though. So you can use touch other. So this touched a different player than the target. If you still want to kill them, you can do that there. Or player chase chase began. So like the player started getting chased. Confirm player chase. So if you had if player target player that is hiding, then return false. Like this would stop the AI from chasing somebody. Or let's say like in Granny, you wanted the AI to um, notice like if. The AI saw the player um, hide and you wanted to like kill them, you can do that there. So yeah, a lot of ways to use this. Be creative. If uh, if you want to know when it lost the player or it started wandering, there's also functions for that. You can go ahead and you can mess with the functions down here. There is like a, a band saying like, hey, these are like really hard to edit because they just, there's really, really complicated you can if you want so let's go over those some um, events so there's target loss target scene start and stop the ai you can fire at the start and stop the ai that would change that is active in here a lot of ways to customize it use it how you want make your game uh leave it in the comments down below what you made with it i really want to see or if you see any bugs or any like features that you want added leave it down below anyway i hope to see what you do Good luck making your game. Peace.